Hi. Hi. Welcome to a special anniversary episode of the Royal Bee Yarn Company. Yeah. I'm Kelly. I'm Tony. And we own the Royal Bee Yarn Company. Which is a little shop in Pacifica, California. Oh. And it's also an online store if you want to buy oh, yeah. it. Yeah. Yeah. And what, what can they buy online, Tony? Lots of things. Uh, Threads, yeah. yarn, no. kits, <laughs> no. shawls, <laughs> knitted wear. Come on, come on. They can buy our yarn oh, yeah. online. <laughs> Uh, I'm absolutely buy, useless. <laughs> and kits, and kits. Kits, I did and say that. Yeah, it's true. Yeah, we put kits together and sometimes, well, most of the times we're using um, uh, other people's yarn for that yarn mm -hmm. that we carry in the shop that we want to promote. This is our yarn. Sorry, I was flipping some yarn and a little bit's got up my nose. <laughs> That's the problem. When we do stitches, I'm a little bit allergic to some types of yarn, I think. I know, so. you've got a little bit of a... And you're wearing your um, Empower People 2020 yeah. bandana again, want, and that might be getting a little bit have, up your nose. I want people to be empowered. No, this is, I'm not allergic to this. Okay, good. Because that's our new yarn. Yeah. <laughs> so that's our, our woolen spun yarn. Yeah. Uh, that Tony's wearing. This is our worsted spun yarn. Yeah. That was my biggest worry when we opened the shop was I'm a little bit allergic to yarn. It was like for my brother opening a duck down and cat <laughs> store, <laughs> which my brother is allergic to, which is hilarious. Especially because I'm obsessed with duck down everything like I want everything to be like cozy and soft and I have these like I like it's really important to me to have a cozy bed and I have these like what are they fleece Mike they're not. fleece they're like fleecy sheets and I don't care whether it's summer I still have like the super fleecy sheets and then I always have like goose down comforters mm. and Shouldn't be Do talking they? about our bed, Kelly. It's a no, little bit too much information. TMI. It's very cozy. <laughs> yeah. So anyway, it's our anniversary. It is. Three years on July the 29th, which has gone now. Yeah. Um, three years we've been open. Three whole years. Three yeah. years. Yeah. Three years. Open the doors, and yeah, we're 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 still here. We're still kicking. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you to the community that thank is you. keeping us kicking through this whole, you know, and COVID yeah. um, thing. The builders are still here. They're still the building. Are still We're here. still blue. Still blue. Um, this is the blue phase, isn't it? <laughs> You'll be able to look at them and see. How, you can see the builders are here because you can see how blue the side of our face is. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. Anyway. Yeah. Anyway. Oh! 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 Yeah. <laughs> What's new with you, Tony? <laughs> Glad you asked that. <laughs> I've been back at work. Schools are mm. um, open for just three of us, administrative staff, just um, preparing classes, putting classes together, figuring out which teachers are going to be distance learning all year and which are going to be doing the what we call the hybrid or continuum model, which will happen when it's safe to come back to school. Who knows when that's going to be? I'm just amazed at the custodians. We got two custodians at our school, Maria and Jared. I just want to shout out to those guys. Jared likes classic cars and football, so he'll never watch this in a million years. So I just want to shout out to him. He waxed the floor the other day like no one, uh, no one else. It's a good job. I know they take. They work there. Work, work there. Work their butts off and take bottoms an enormous off. amount of um, enormous amount of pride. Yeah. You're really lucky to have such a great team. Yeah, we do have a yeah. good team. Yeah. It's almost exciting. I know the teachers are probably not very excited, <laughs> but um, I'm kind of excited and feeling very, un, um, what's the word? Positive. Very you positive. Were, you were talking to somebody earlier today, and um, a oh, customer. it was Angie. And um, she came in and was talking about her. Um, granddaughter. Her granddaughter. And you said something so incredibly positive. And it Did just I? made. Yeah, you said that kids were going to learn. Oh, they're going to be resilient. They're going to be in learning independence. They're going to be, become more creative. Your kids will do just fine during this mm -hmm. whole thing. Don't worry about it. They're going to be fine. It's just the grown ups are going to be freaking out. <laughs> but the kids are going to be fine. Aw. I thought that was really positive. I was really proud of you when you said that. Wow. <laughs> I'm always proud of you. I know. I'm pretty. So what's up with you, Kelly? 
Well, I've been busy promoting the Bay Area Fiber Fair. And we've been having a lot of fun with that, which has been fantastic. And oh, my biggest excitement is the fact that Shop Dreamers of Dreams has delivered the stitch marker necklaces. If you're interested in them, they um, take a little peek on Instagram. They're stunning. Do you have any Absolutely here we can beautiful. put up there? I do have a couple. Shall I go and get one? Oh, I'll get one. You're going to leave me again? I'm going to leave you. Yeah. Don't get up to mischief. I'm not going that far. Okay. <laughs> Is he terrified? Yeah. Look at that. Isn't that just beautiful? Do you want to hold, do you want to speak? Yeah. Because you've got longer arms? I do. So that's super cool. Uh. Yeah. That's been really exciting. And um, I have new yarn in the shop as well, Seismic Yarn and Dye Works. And I'm gonna um, showcase Seismic Yarn and Dye Works next episode. Yes, we'll we're gonna interview. Mm -hmm. Yeah. 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 So we'll Ava. look at that next, next Yeah, that'll next be fun. Yeah. What else is new, babe? Well, since it's our anniversary, what we decided oh, yeah. to do for this particular episode to kind of mix things up <laughs> is to finally give you a little tour of the shop. Because we're not interviewing anyone in this We're not interviewing episode. anybody in this episode. We're going to try going forward to it's just a, mix things up. It's and, like the shop is the interviewee today. Right? Right? And then like, <laughs> right? And then we, we're going to mix things up. We're gonna keep it fresh. Yeah. <laughs> I think I just showed our age yeah. by saying that, but. <laughs> Wicked. <laughs> um, yeah, so should we show it now? Let's do it now. Okay. Yeah, so. So oh. prepare to oh, be amazed okay. <laughs> as we show you around the Royal Bee. I don't know why we're doing this. I have no idea. <laughs> Hi, Kelly here from the Royal Bee Yarn Company. Tony and I have been threatening that we were gonna give you a little tour of the shop. And of course I've been delaying since during this kind of COVID period, I've been moving stuff around and wasn't quite satisfied. I think I'm never gonna be satisfied. So we decided since it is our three year anniversary that we were just gonna go for it and show you the shop. So we're starting at the front of the shop. I have the shop kind of organized in weight order, starting with fingering and then going all the way uh, around. And well, that's sort of true, sort of not true. You'll see as we go around. Anyway, what I wanted to do was show you some of the staple yarns that I always carry in the shop so that if you're unable to get here, you can always call me up and I can organize to ship it out to you. But let me start with Lady Dye. So Lady Dye is one of the yarns that I always have in the shop. And what you'll probably um, see as we go around the shop is that I tend to gravitate toward neutrals. And what I love about Lady Dye's yarn is that it's very opposite uh, to those neutrals. She does all these like fun, really bright, vibrant colors, absolutely gorgeous. So this is just a wee little example of that. Another yarn that I always have in the shop is Prosper. And I'm fairly confident that I'm the only place in the US that carries this. This is from New Zealand. Um, Les, who's the dyer, is supporting the last woolen mill. And this is a heritage blend of Merino and Romboulet. Really soft, really squishy. Swan's Island is another brand that I always have in the shop. This is one of the certified organic yarns. They're out of Maine, absolutely beautiful. I hope you can really see the rich green. This is Sincere Sheep. This is her Cormo base that she has custom made for her. And it is, um, uh, this happens to be fingering, but I carry her yarn in all of her weights. And this is such, such a rich pine. She's a hand dyer out of Napa. So it's kind of one of those local yarns. And then we have my yarn, 18 micron merino fleece sourced from a little farm in North Carolina then milled by a husband and wife mill team nearby and hand dyed in vegetable dyes. So that's my yarn, which I talk about every single time. Oh, here's another yarn that we always carry, which is um, Malabrigo. 
This happens to be their silk, but I've got a ton of their bases. Then we have a little bit of merch and some cocoa knits accessories. I love the packaging for cocoa knits. Look how cute that is. Look at these yarn snips. They're so sweet. And we have Rowan Kids Silk Haze. And I have just about um, all of the bases for Wool Folk. So incredibly soft. And look at this. This is Speckled Finch Studios. This is my friend Nina, local dyer from San Francisco. Absolutely beautiful. I have Knitted Wit. Just showing you um, a mohair for uh, for the moment, but I carry a bunch of different bases for Knitted Wit. And uh, let's see here. Oh, I have Dragon Horde as well. Let's see. And I don't think there are many places that carry Dragon Horde, and I have her fingering DK and then um, her mohair also, just super beautiful. And then we have a little Chelsea Lux, one of my favorite dyers out of New Jersey. She's amazing. And if you haven't seen her podcast, it's fantastic. Uh, Mad Tosh, I have Mad Tosh in the house. And Greenwood Fiberworks, it's another. I have her, um, this is a Yakety Yak, but I also carry her a uh, cashmere queen, which is amazing. It's cashmere delight. I don't know why I said cashmere queen. And then I have Cardiff cashmere. More Swans Island dip dyes. These are so much fun. And then like this is just a little inspiration piece that we made. And um, we were really kind of surprised that the dips actually came out in the chevron pattern, which was super cool. I always make sure that I have plenty of like cotton and linen as well. This is a Rowan uh, creative, um, creative linen. Yeah, creative linen, which is a cotton linen blend. And then I have um, other cottons just in case people have aversions to wool or animal fibers. Um, De Gilpin, La Lamb. This is another great yarn out of Scotland that I always carry in the shop. And then I have a lot of um, Barocco. I always like to have a, a really nice kind of budget option. And um, Barocco suits that pretty beautifully. This is a summer silk. It's so incredibly soft and it's like 15 bucks. It's really, really good. Zauber balls. I'm kind of addicted to them. Uh, this is uh, the Zauber ball Stark 6. And I also have the 100s and I have the edition three and I have the Zauber ball crazy and I have the lace and the reason why I'm obsessed with this is um, I really 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 wanted to have spin cycle in the shop but unfortunately um, they're um, well fortunately for them they're so incredibly successful that there's a wait list for new uh, retailers and I'm on that wait list but I wanted um, to have a yarn that was a really good substitute so that people could make the shifty or shift along or night shift I love Andrea Mowry's patterns and so this is just a beautiful beautiful actually really affordable alternative to um, spin cycle if you can't get your hands on the spin cycle. Um, another yarn that I have, or another yarn brand that I have in the shop is Haiku. Um, and this is Riley and it is the drapiest. I mean, this is my favorite yarn as far as drape is concerned. You can kind of see that um, there. And it's a uh, alpaca linen and a mulberry silk blend. It's really, really soft. I'm a sucker for soft yarn. And over here, well, this would be where we would normally congregate and hang out and uh, have snacks and have coffee, tea, water, that kind of thing. And um, unfortunately, 
um, because of COVID, it um, has to remain empty for the moment. But what we do have over here uh, is a Love Fest fiber. And these are these big jumbo felted wool, which she has hand felted in Nepal. And over by the Smurf, you can see what one ball um, makes. These cute little, it's a little hand sanitizer. Um, cute, cute, cute baskets, which are really fun as like a hostess gift. I love to give one of those. Definitely depends on, um, they're a little spendy, so um, it depends on, you know, how good the party's gonna be. <laughs> Otherwise, they're gonna get a face cloth and some soap. Um, so, um, and then I have the beautiful sisters bags, project bags. They're so cool. I love them so much. And I love the beautiful sisters themselves. And you can just like tie up your project. It could be knitting or crocheting on the go. So cute. So I'm so proud that I have these in the shop. And they're wonderful makers as well. So we have a lot of my yarn. Oh, here is my new woolen spun. So same fleece. And then we have this um, made into a different base with a different mill, woolen spun yarn. It's got all that texture, good stitch definition, but it also blooms. It's very forgiving and very soft. We have our inspiration pieces. We have some weavers in the community. And so I have some cones of a, a cotton yarn, which is great for warp. And some cross stitch, really cute all kinds of little sassy, little safe space and so forth. This is an inspiration piece made out of my yarn. It's the um, Sunday sweater. Welcome to the classroom. This is where we teach people how to learn how to knit, how to crochet, we advance their skills, we have sweater classes, brioche classes, macrame, all kinds of good stuff. And we have some sort of starter kits for people that are entering into crafts with punch needle, a little bit of embroidery. We've got our embroidery floss here. And then I had sort of mentioned that we carry a lot of Barocco, even though I'm very, very low, I need to restock. Uh, but uh, the reason why I love this yarn so much is because um, if you have somebody in your life that you're making something for and they don't know how to care for knitwear or crochet wear, this can go into the washer and the dryer. And it's really nice. It's pretty soft. It comes in some pretty colors. And then here is the um, <laughs> offending to Tony, but not to me. Absolutely gorgeous Grogain ribbon. I think it's pretty stunning. And then we have some buttons. I just have like kind of fun buttons, novelty buttons, and some beautiful drop spindles. We have a little organic macrame cord. So now we're kind of entering the worsted section of the shop, which is kind of on the opposite side to the fingering DK and sport and um, some more Malabrigo. Oh, this deserves a special mention. I, I, I said that I had a lot of the um, Wolf Oak bases, and this is one of my favorites. It's Luft, and it's cotton and wool. And because of the loft of it, it actually is kind of as cool in the summer as it is warm in the winter, and it's so cozy, and I love it. Oh, and far. Oh my gosh, it's like stroking a cloud. <laughs> I love it so much. <laughs> we have some roving fibers, more Malabrigo, more Sincere Sheep, more of my yarn. Oh, this is fun. 
This is um, from a, a local farm. And you can almost see like little bits of the farm in there. <laughs> <laughs> it's Willow Oats Hollow, um, really close by. And this is a blend, it's called Esmeralda. And it's a blend of two of her sheep, Esmeralda and Poppy. And then um, they're alpaca, which sadly has passed away. <laughs> Not to be named, but to be felt and enjoyed. <laughs> this is a... Um, a uh, all of Knit's uh, soundtrack pullover that we did together as a knit along, which was really fun. This is my yarn. This is Beatrice has pretty maids all in a row and Judy loves Catcher in the Dark Rye. This is a little hat made out of my worsted weight, Nina, our stitch doctor. Um, this is called Glamour Jane is Pretty in Pink Frosting after Jane. This is a Wool Folk Far inspiration piece made by my friend Magda. Oh, these are so cute. Look at this. This is Nerd Bird Makery. And I have a lot of her um, merchandise in my uh, shop. She does these incredibly cute pins. Look at this. Ha ha, it's so cute. They're so adorable. Unicorns, who doesn't love unicorns? Oh, and while we're kind of over in this section, I should probably like ask you to follow me because I wanna show you, these are really special and they're exclusive to the shop. Aren't those incredible shawl pins? So my friend Elizabeth is a jewelry maker and I was having trouble finding cool shawl pins. And so I actually asked her if she would consider making them for me. She didn't really know what they were, so to speak, but she did. And I sell a lot of them. They're just absolutely spectacular. And then here's a little this is kind of her main staple, which are uh, 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 rings and necklaces and so forth. So, but I've got the shawl pins. I feel very lucky. So one of the other things that I have in the shop is by a local maker who's actually a ceramicist, but she also makes all the things. You've probably heard of her every single time we've done a video podcast, our yachter, Patricia. And these are her lotion bars, which are just really, really cool. She makes it from really simple organic ingredients. Oh, there you go. And then I have um, some of her felted soaps in the shop. Very cool. We have sock lockers and some books that look a little untidy. Sorry about that. And then now we're over to the worsted wall. And like I said, I change up the yarns all the time, but I do have those regular brands that I always carry. This is a really good example, um, Concentric. Uh, you hold these together as though they are one strand. It makes a worsted, it's 100% baby alpaca. And it's really, really pretty. Here's a little cowl that we made from one of the concentrics. I actually have hardly any of them left, so I need to get more in. But one's gain makes that, so that's awesome. And that's kind of it. I hope you've enjoyed having a little tour of the shop and um, hope to see you in the shop. We are open. Ta-da! Wow, wasn't that amazing? <laughs> it was like being in the shop. <laughs> it's like being in the shop. <laughs> oh. And I actually, I had like, I had a really good day today. So I'm really, really yeah, stoked. Yeah, she's made the money, but so she's in a good mood. <laughs> it's all about making the rent. It's all I about, know, and I actually know. it was Carl. I'm blaming Carl. Carl came and bought a whole bunch of Barocco. Thank you, thank you, thank you, Carl. But it did leave that back area a wee bit bare. So yeah. we have more on the way. But, so um, yeah. back to the shop. That's because yeah. it's our anniversary. It is our anniversary. Um, what? Let me ask you a question, Carl. <gasps> okay. If you were starting the business again, oh, that's a big question. What would you do differently, if anything? <laughs> I 
I, when I first opened up the shop, I really wasn't 100% sure that yarn would be enough. And so I bought uh, bolts of fabric and ribbon? I didn't buy enough. Ribbon? <laughs> the ribbon. Uh, the ribbon's great. I've got nothing against the ribbon. It's just, I remember when you I mean, bought you it, it was like- I do have a thing it was, There was the a lot of, that ribbon you see right towards the end. It's, um, it was quite expensive. It was expensive. But it was from France it's as well. It's vintage grow grain. And, and some of it Newport? is, um, some of it is from like the early 1900s. Yeah, it's nice ribbon. It's beautiful. I, I mean, used it. It goes on that. <laughs> on <but> stuff. <laughs> Yeah, the ribbon, yeah. The only person that really loves the ribbon is me. Okay. Oh, and Glamour Jane. Glamour Jane steaked a cardigan and used the ribbon for it. Yeah. I think Honey Jane did too. So, um, but Jane. it really, it's just about um, making me happy with the beautiful ribbon. But yeah, I, I've made, I mean, that is not the only bad purchase I've made. So I My noticed we have a lot of needlework stuff that we bought for the first for the opening we've still got some of that stuff no we don't have any of that left i i had i got rid of that um in a sale eight like two oh, years ago right, okay. and then um i bought all new punch needle mm -hmm. and embroidery yeah and some cute little cross stitch um yeah. kits uh and then i made a uh embroidery floss fl uh, floss wall that we didn't have before yeah so um that has been very popular so no real regrets well just some bad purchases like purchasing the fabrics i bought <laughs> every um every sewing needle known to man zippers i went a little extreme the zippers. with zippers <laughs> i had to sort and price the zippers <laughs> Like a till bit. two in the morning, like one a night. rainbow. Have not sold one? They've all gone. I gave them to Heather. Oh yeah. Same with the fabric. So yeah, that was a um, mistake. Mm -hmm. uh, let's see. Anything else? I don't know. Mostly, it's been okay, and mostly, yeah. the mistakes that I've made have been really great learning experiences, and I haven't felt any regret regrets in any like really big way yeah so i remember when kelly told me that told me that she was going to open a yard store it was just like she might have just said i'm going to mars <laughs> you were so supportive though so oh, of course i will i knew you'd you do it if like, you said you were going to go to mars i'd say okay when are you going do you want me to pack a sandwich <laughs> i would tr totally trust you what sandwich would you make me for mars i'm curious come back to me uh, okay Tuna. How about you? Do you have any regrets? Um, probably peanut. Butter. Oh, sorry. Um, <laughs> regrets. Um, no, I think we did. We did great. I mean, um, I remember panicking when we got all our inventory for the first time and it barely filled a, a table. I know. Yeah, that was it scary. Was I thought people are going to come in and there's nothing to sell. And I remember the walls were horribly gray and we colored them and we bought all this ikea furniture we i the originally it was going to be like white oh, yeah. we wanted all white yeah. and we got all white furniture we spent a lot one well, a fair amount of money on white furniture yeah. and then we had to get rid of it all because it looked awful i had this idea of like you know when i was kidson it Kath Kidson, which I really love, which is like fun and floral. She's a British designer. That's right. And I wanted to make the shop like how I feel, which is like a kid in a candy store. And so I was going for all like white, light, bright. Yeah. But I can't do that. No. I, I'm not capable of decorating in that way. And I, then, yeah. I, if it's, if it's um, earth tones or warm or cozy, I can do it. And then... Um, our friend Heather mm -hmm. gave us some furniture and we brought it in and thought that's what the shop's yeah. gonna look like all this antique furniture which yeah. you see in in the video yeah it's um and also the honeycombs which you can see here yeah. these these are fantastic I found these you did you did indeed yeah that was all you Designer. in fact most of the shop you you set out on paper I drew where things plan. should go yeah 
and, and uh, friend Stacy helped us as well mm -hmm. early on. Just yeah. Friends were just like, my oh, let me do this. Amazing. Oh my gosh! And if it weren't for Don and Tony, Don, Tony, Don, uh, Tony, Heather, Stacy. Yeah, I mean, Don and Tony were here for hours and days helping yes. uh, get everything set up. And set up a business, open up a shop, and see that, who helps. Those are your like, friends. Tony, that is no so true. No friends to all our friends who didn't help us because we know you were busy and so. <laughs> It's really hot in here. I know. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> this parachute's a backpack. Um, it's backpack's a parachute. Oh yeah. <laughs> Wait, does it work both ways? This parachute's a backpack? This Yeah, Wait, this parachute's but... a backpack, yeah. That's a friend's quote that uh, I got anyway. wrong. No oh, and the gold wall. The like, gold wall, yeah. We have I mean the Tony I love Hurley wall. The Tony Hurley wall. I love the gold wall. Mm. And now it's like my favorite part of the shop. But at and the time, it was my least favorite because it was yeah. not gold. And the and whole of the classroom mm -hmm. is gold, gold wall as well. Yeah. And certain other private places are gold. Oh, yeah. The restroom is gold. Our restroom, yeah. Our restroom is gold. Yeah. And um, the back, um, Shop Angel Judy was like, paint it gold. And I was yeah, like, yeah. you're right. Let's do it. Yeah. So. It's great. I think the yeah. whole shop. Should be. Imagine if we did it all gold. It might be too much. Anyway. I don't know. You can never have too much gold. That's something we can talk about later over pizza. <laughs> Are we getting pizza later? We're having pizza tonight. Yeah. Okay. I made... Uh, this is... <gasps> oh, I made... Um, this is so, it was so good. Best spaghetti ball. Best spag ball. Spag ball. I've ever made. It this has got nothing British. to do with it. Yeah. I know. But it doesn't very matter. It was so good. Very British spag ball, but I used impossible meat. Mm -hmm. It was so delicious. Was oh, good. my gosh. Speaking of impossible... Our yachter, Patricia, has, well, happy birthday. Happy first birthday, start. Patricia. She's, how old is she? I don't know if she would like us to give her oh, that's a Oh, so. yeah, sorry. I <laughs> she's and, 57. <laughs> and what's and, impossible about Patricia? Well, she has a really good friend that works at Impossible Burger. She so does? Was, yeah, she does, yeah. What? So, or Impossible, I don't think it's Impossible Burger. It's like Impossible Meat, uh, I, whatever, the company. Hmm. Um, yeah, she has a good friend that works there. Wow, so, mm -hmm. we can talk more about that. Yeah. Anyway, so we were glad to be able to share the shop. Yeah. And, and we hope you can come and see it for real and yeah. enjoy it. Um, it's been a good three years onward to year four. Yeah, thank you to Times everybody. Times are who's... terrible and, you know, difficult for so many people. Mm -hmm. And we're going to get through this, I know. Yeah. And thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you again to everybody who Thank you for been... watching this and thank you. Yeah, thank you for um, supporting us because we wouldn't be getting through this without you. And, um, oh, I was going to say, like, just a shout out to The Hive. We call ourselves The Hive. That's the kind of um, group of people that come and hang out here at the Royal Bee when it's not COVID. <laughs> and, you know, it's, the group is changing all the time, but there's also, like, a, a hardcore group. And... They're just the most beautiful people. Mm -hmm. In three years, we've become, you know, really quite close. We're now doing like the virtual events and I just like, who knew that the most important thing about opening up this business was going to be the community. And I would love to take credit for that. I can't, I provided the space, but the community is what has made I think the Royal Bee Yarn Company, a place that I want to be at every single day. I thought that I really wanted to sell yarn, and yes, community was an important aspect of it, but boy, it's just been beyond expectations. And I love our group. They're really, they're really great people. They're amazing so people. Thank you, Hive. You know who you are. And we've been living here, we have been here nine years yeah. in the shop. Yeah. And these people are all around us and you, you yeah. don't see it. There's a community right there outside your door. you just got to bring them together somehow. Yeah. So. Yeah. So thank you, everybody. Thank you for watching. We'll see you next week with episode 14. Mm -hmm. And we'll be interviewing Ava from... Seismic Yarn and Sorry. Dye Works. <laughs> okay. You just look pretty. That's all you need to do. <laughs> okay. Wave. Bye. Bye.